Hi, my name is John Knight. I work for a company called Smarter Interactive and I'm just going to briefly explain the difference between DLP and LCD projectors. One of the main reasons I wanted to explain this is we get quite a number of questions from our existing education customers, schools who've bought in particular um, interactive whiteboards, um, who are using these with projection and needing to replace the projectors because the projectors are suffering from a combination of reliability, poor image quality, um, poor brightness or expensive lamp modules to replace. So there are two options available. LCD technology is the established technology. It's the technology that projectors were first used. It stands for liquid crystal display um, and it uses a, a liquid crystal chip inside the projector um, which is used to produce all of the colors. Generally, we find as one of the um, um, pros to this technology, when you first turn the projector on, it produces the most vivid colors. So people generally are very, very happy with the quality of the picture um, on a LCD projector because the colors are very vivid. There are also, there's also a much broader range of manufacturers and models currently. So this is the established technology where you've got um, most manufacturers, not all, but most manufacturers will have a broader range of LCD technology um, in their projectors. Uh, DLP, by comparison, some of the advantages that the manufacturers um, will promote, and DLP stands for Digital Light Processing. So you have a chip inside the projector which uses mirrors to bounce the, the light um, off the mirrors, refract the light off the mirrors. Um, and the advantage of this technology is that, that chip is sealed. Um, so it means that the projectors, for starters, can have no filters inside them. Now that's a big advantage in some people's eyes, but it doesn't mean that the projectors should never be cleaned, um, because it's still important to clean a projector. It will still be sucking air in from the surrounding environment. But the DLP technology doesn't use filters to ensure that the projectors are cleaned. The image brightness and quality should stay the same or similar um, as you use the projector over thousands of hours of use. So um, the, the, what the manufacturer will say is that um, even if you go and replace the lamp module in two or three years time, um, you should expect a very similar quality picture to the quality of picture when you first bought it. Some of the potential downsides to this, so LCD technology, the DLP manufacturers will argue um, that the brightness and colours will deteriorate over time. Um, and we've certainly seen um, from our experience this happen, um, but I'll come on to discussing that a little bit uh, in a moment. Um, whereas the LCD manufacturers, by comparison, will say that um, this is the DLP technology is newer technology and produces a less vivid picture when the projector is brand new. Um, how do you decide? Well, the first thing is, how many hours are you going to use the projector for? So if, for example, you are planning to use your projector for three hours per week, um, you're not going to notice any deterioration in any of these projectors for at least two to three thousand hours. because the technology in, in both LCD and DLP is good enough now to ensure that neither manufacturer uh, or neither technology is going to notice significant drop-offs for a, a reasonable period of time. So what this means is that if you're using the projector for three hours per week, then um, you're gonna uh, have a long time before you need to actually even worry about the, um, the quality of the picture deteriorating. So three hours per week um, over, say, a two-year period, for example, you're still um, going to be a long way away from worrying about um, the amount of uh, time that you've used the projector for and the quality of the picture. If, however, you are using the projector for 30 hours per week, then obviously you're going to start to hit the 3,000-hour figure within um, 18 months to two years.
The other options to consider are what's the length of time before you're going to consider a replacement because if you're planning to buy a projector, use it for this length of time and then potentially replace it in three years time when generally manufacturers projector warranties will have expired and also any lamp warranty will usually have expired as well. So if you're planning to replace in three years time, then you may find that you don't need to worry too much about whether it's a DLP or LCD projector. And you may say, well, in the last six to 12 months of my three year period, I'm prepared to accept a small uh, deterioration in image quality in exchange for the deal that I'm getting buying this particular LCD projector. The other question is what types of problems have you had and, ex uh, and experienced already? So for example, have you had um, a drop off in the brightness? Um, have you experienced um, a drop off in image quality? Are these factors factors that have led you to making this decision? Um, and if so, um, if you're going to replace a projector, how long has that projector been there already? Um, so these are the types of factors to, uh, to, to consider um, when looking at the differences between the technologies. Um, another question to consider is what type of technology do you actually want? Um, would you be, prefer something that you consider to be tried and tested? Um, do you have a preferred brand? Um, for example, there are certain projector brands who will exclusively promote one technology or another. Um, BenQ are a manufacturer who are now um, exclusively promoting DLP, uh, whereas on the LCD side, um, Epson, for example, are a project manufacturer who are still focused specifically on LCD. And then there are a range of manufacturers who tend to be doing a bit of both. Um, NEC, for example, which is one of the projector brands uh, that we feel very comfortable recommending, um, they have a mixture of uh, DLP and LCD projectors, but still a majority of their range will fall within the LCD side of the market. The other question is, do you want to have short throw or ultra short throw technology? If you're not aware of what I'm referring to, I'm talking about projectors that can fill um, different size screens. So for example, if it was a 77 inch diagonal screen, which is quite a standard size for an interactive whiteboard, that would be the SmartBoard 680. Um, if it's a 77 inch diagonal screen, you can get short throw projectors that will fill that screen from less than one meter, or you can get ultra short throw projectors that will fill that screen from 30 to 40 centimeters. And the key benefit of this is that you are reducing the shadow when you're uh, using the product. But a majority of certainly um, ultra short throw, not all, but a majority of manufacturers tend to be using DLP technology for their ultra short throw projectors. And this is partially because the projectors are designed for use with interactive whiteboards and therefore they know the usage is going to be high. So these are some of the choices. This is, this is an explanation as well of what some of the different options mean. Um, if you'd like more information, advice or pricing, please feel free to either visit our website or give us a call. And we'd be happy to discuss these options with you um, and discuss a projector replacement strategy for your organization.